apply. Okay. Alrighty. we were gone last week. Hi, everybody. Just hang in there. We're just waiting for a few more people to join us, and then we'll be live. Hi, Bri. Hi, everybody. All right. We've got a few people joining us. Let us know where you're from. We'll just see where everybody's from so far that's with us, and then we'll start up with our live. Hi, and is it Angelia? I love that name. Is that too much fun? From Dallas. Hi, Bri. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Fantastic. We're glad you're with us. Hi, Angel from Michigan. Hi, Ricky from Winnipeg, Manitoba. We've got quite a few people coming with us. Why don't you come on in and Absolutely. let's get started? Hope everybody's having a great week or looking forward to one. I wanted to, to take a moment, Christy. We, we get people all the time saying, how can you do it in just 10 minutes a day? Exactly. We, we get that We lot. actually had a question last week of somebody that was dead sure that you did all kinds of extra things. Yeah. They had said, well, he tells us we're active. What, what does that mean? And I, it was fun to read your response of, no, it was, I just, since the day I've started, it's been 10 minutes a day and that you sometimes do a little more intense workout, but right. not necessarily anything else. And so they had come back and let me read the exact comment here because I thought it was really fun. It yes. said, so it's really just 10 minutes of cellar sizing each day for years that have built this body. No weight lifting, CrossFit climbing or anything. So I'm gonna let you respond Good. to that one, so. You know, it, 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 when I first began, and I started noticing the changes. In one month, I dropped a belt notch. In one month, my arms were bigger. I wasn't lifting weights. I wasn't doing anything. My wife asked me if I was. I said, no, I'm just playing around on this piece of equipment for, before I go to work. Six months later, my entire physique had changed. I used to, and people were noticing, and they were asking me, what are you doing? What are you doing? At that point, it had been so easy for me to accomplish what I did that I'd wake up at nighttime worried that it was too easy. So I'd go out and I'd do some more cellar sizing because I didn't want to lose the momentum of what I was doing. And then over time, I just relaxed and recognized that, no, this is cellular. It's weight bearing. It's not your typical exercise. It's not lifting weight away from gravity. Again, that's limited only to the muscle doing the lifting. This is on every muscle all at the same time, over 100 times a minute. So as you're moving up and down on a cellar sizer, every muscle, bone, connective tissue, ligament, tendon, skin, collagen, protein fibers, they're all having to resist the increase of weight. But then by leveraging the weight, and this is something I discovered over time, as I leveraged the weight, I could focus the results on different areas of the body, even while the rest of the body was still working. Now that's unlike typical exercise. If you wanna work one part of your body, you work one group of muscles or you do sit-ups, or you do push-ups, or you do pull-ups, or whatever the case may be. But when you're cellar sizing and you alter the angle of your body, the rest of the body still has the weight or the G-forces on it. So the whole body is collectively working. So I started saying, or putting it this way, if I took 20, 30, or 40% more weight and I applied it to just this muscle, 100 times a minute, for 10 solid minutes, Everybody would agree, if you could do it, that's a great exercise for that muscle. 
Now you gotta do this one and all the other body parts and functions. Who's got time for that? See, when I'm cellar sizing and I'm moving up and down, I'm applying 10, 20, 30, or 40% more weight depending on how high I jump or how I leverage the weight, not just here 100 times a minute, but on everything over 100 times a minute. So most people, when they begin, 10 minutes is too much. If you've ever been on a trampoline, you know what I'm talking about. Those G-Force, they're exhausting. Well, when you're cellar sizing, it's no different. You're applying that weight, you're opening up that circulation. Your body starts to take on a different dynamic and it changes and it's doing it from the inside out. So I tell people, why work out when you can play in? And, and as a reminder to all of you, for all of us, it's not the destination that we need to be concerned about. We set the destination. We know what the goal or the objective is, but enjoy the journey. This is fun and getting in shape is fun. And if you're not reaching the objectives you want, give me a call. Let's talk about what we can do to change up the, the routine a little bit. When I need to change it up, I don't change the amount of time. I change the intensity or how I do it within that amount of time. And the increase in intensity increases metabolic processes. So, so we're going to enjoy it. But uh, Christine, tell us about what's going on in your life. Uh, you look great. Thank you. Yeah, you I'm do. feeling great. Uh, we're we're prepping for a wedding. I know there's. Ah, I know you have to have that good, destination good. Yeah. In, in mind. <laughs> That's motivating. But you know, it, it is a motivation to good. to be at my son's wedding in two months and 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 ah, feel feel good uh -huh. at his wedding. I remember last year, so for many people, this will be our fourth wedding within a year. And so, but I remember the first wedding, I swelled up so huge. Mm. So I'm really looking forward to being so much healthier at this wedding that's coming in May. Right. Uh, there was one thing that I had um, have watched a lot about is the knees and, and how people have struggled with their knees. And when I first started out, there were so many other health issues and my knees have always bothered me and we have this nice flight of stairs at our house that I never climb. So I never go upstairs and watch movies with my kids, which is uh. sad. And the other day I had to climb four flights of stairs at my work and normally I hear quack, quack, yeah. <laughs> in each of my knees as I'm going up the stairs, not a sound. Not a sound, and I made it up those floor flights of stairs. Now I might have needed a little bit of oxygen when I got up. Yeah, <laughs> but, <laughs> that'll but, get easier too. But you too. know what? Yeah. yeah, but I made it, and I actually didn't feel like I was dying, and my knees were not screaming at me by the time I got up to those stairs. So I have my own personal testament okay. of how the cellar sizer has made even that part of my life so much easier. And so I wanted to share that with people. So there'll be something coming okay. out to share that with. But, good, um, good, good. We're going to talk a little yeah, bit about I'm knees. I'm excited That's about good. knees. And good. so I'm doing right. well. I'm feeling great. I am not looking forward to being away from my cell sizer for the rest of the week. I'll be in San Diego oh, okay. at a conference. And so you can take it with you. I'm you, thinking you, you about can. it. You can. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> okay. I wish I had the trifold. I think that oh. would be much more easier to take it is. if I had the trifold. But yeah. I had just noticed a comment on here and I just wanted to say something about it. Jill is on there, Jill Samter, I think that's what her name is, yes. if I said it correctly. Yes. And I watched Jill. She just announced on there how old she was. Yes. I had no idea. Really? Jill, you look fantastic. And she has <laughs> been doing this for quite some time. Just 10 to 20 minutes a day is what she's kind of been doing it at. And this is all she's doing. So just another good testament go. that this is all you really need. Thanks, so, Jill. Yeah, thanks, Jill. We got some great family members. We really do. <laughs> we really and, do. And they support each other. And, and you know, our, our whole objective is to help you get results. That's what it's about. It is. And everybody's journey is different. Right. Because we all have different needs. That's so, right. all righty, are you ready to give some testimonials that I sure. can, that Let's I've do seen it. recently? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna pass these over and let you all read right. this one. They're right there. Okay, this is from Beth. Beth says, I've been wanting this sweet baby for two years now. I finally got one and the results so far have been amazing and I've only been using it for a week and a half. I've seen differences in my abs and thighs. I have increased energy. I don't have any body pains anymore. These pains, by the way, are always present the night before starting. For instance, I remember laying in bed thinking how there was no way I could do this exercise because I was in so much pain already. This is coming from someone who has a huge variety of health issues, many food and chemical intolerances, 
chronic fatigue, adrenal insufficiency, spinal issues, low BMI, to name a few. I am so excited to see what the future holds with this and all for just 10 minutes a day. Bring on the muscles. I feel like a health advertiser right now. Ha ha, get yours today. But no, seriously, do. And you know, that's the neat thing about cellar size that we're all experiencing is that body parts and functions can improve through the gentle moving up and down, the gentle baby bounce because it's massaging the liver, the thyroid, the adrenals, the endocrine system, spleen, gallbladder, pancreas, the moving up and down, opening up capillaries, increasing oxygen, blood flow to the brain, and so many additional benefits. But thank you. Thank you so much. I look forward to hearing more updates from you, Beth. We all do. Sunwolf. Sun. Sunwolf. <laughs> you know, he's an amazing guy, and I'm glad he's part of the Solar Size family. I was supposed to talk to him last week, Sun Wolf, I apologize. Um, we had some website issues and challenges and um, I missed the call. Uh, but uh, I look forward to talking with you again soon, so let's do that. But he says, I've been using the, this incredible piece of equipment for over 25 years. I take it with me when I travel. It's my indoor and outdoor gym. I absolutely love it. And he looks in great shape, guys. I have not aged much at all. Really, every cell, organ, gland benefits greatly. This has also allowed me to maintain my muscle. My joints are like a young puppy as I, I feel I'm reversing my, my aging myself. This is real, and I can go on. Along with my super non-GMO foods, I have it all. Thank you, Dave. You will always be in my memory from the first time we met many years ago, and will never forget you doing for me your three-minute workout going all out. That's a little fast running program. You look great. Not surprised. Hey, me too. And you do. And Sunwolf, thank you. And for those of us who are learning about cellar size or sharing it with others, you can say it's been called the closest thing to the fountain of youth yet devised by man. And again, I believe that. One more. This is Alyssa. Just bought the cellar sizer last week, using it every day. It is fantastic 10 minute workout. Most of you know I was hit by a car while walking a few years ago and the car dragged me up and down the street. The left side of my body does not work well and getting up and down is difficult. I decided to try this piece of exercise equipment where I can use it at home no matter what the weather. I'm not even a week in, but so far so good. This workout is fun. Alyssa, People like you that really, dog got it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I it, it you, you know, it, it, it tugs at my heart. Um, I know the body has an incredible potential. I've seen it in the lives of so many people. You keep at it, and honestly, give me a call if I can be of any support or any help to you. Um, we've seen miracles, and I, um, you can read about them. A lot of them are on our, our website under our customer review section. Okay, so but, you want some questions. Sure, are you ready? let's, let's do some. some questions yes. and then we're going to talk about knees. <laughs> yes, yes we are. Okay, all righty. Well, I'm going to ask you the dreaded question that I've gotten several of the app. Okay. People wanted an update oh, of the app. Gee. <laughs> yeah, I keep saying love-hate relationship. Okay, um, I, uh, some of this is Greek to me, but when they, the app, they've got operating. When they tried to interface the app with the website in the store, it didn't interface, it wasn't working. So we're redoing parts of the website right now so it can interface with the store and the, uh, the app. The website portion of it, we're told, is done tomorrow, so they're gonna be testing it. They have to make sure all the SEO and connections and everything still work. Then they turn it over to have the store reviewed and make sure that uh, that's all processing, and then they add the Mr. Rebounder app. So if there's a hiccup or can be, I expect there'll probably be but another hiccup, but I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're real close, we're real excited, and I um, wanna thank everybody for understanding for your patience. There's some things we just, no matter how hard we try, we just can't control. So. Okay, thank you so much. You bet. Alrighty. Okay, Michelle asked, 
Does your body eventually adapt to cellar sizing the way it adapts to other forms of exercise when you do them over and over, rendering them less effective over time? Good. It does adapt, um, but does it make it less effective? No. I've been doing this now for over 30 years. I can still do the same things that I was doing 10, 15, 20 years ago um, when I started cellar sizing. Your body can change a little bit. The ligaments and tendons grow stronger, so your muscles are not needed as much. And they're still needed, but not as much. So the muscles may not be as big, but your strength is still there. Um, that muscles and ligaments take longer to catch up, or excuse me, ligaments and tendons take longer to catch up to muscles. Muscles grow faster, but ligaments and tendons continue to grow. That's why weightlifting can be damaging if it's not done correctly, because it's more of a sport and you tear down to build up. And when you tear down to build up, you damage the muscle. And if you do too much of it and the ligaments and tendons haven't caught up, then you can actually end up with ligament and tendon damage. So um, when we cellar size, we do weight bearing exercises by moving up and down and then we increase the weight by creating leverage, either altering the position of our body in a different position or increasing the, the strength or dynamics of our, our movement. And that will help you rise to a certain level and if you want to go beyond that, there are things that you can do. Um, you can hold very light weights if you want while you're holding. Keep in mind that a one or two pound weight is not one or two pounds when you're bouncing with it or you're leveraging it. So you have to be careful of the ligaments and tendons. But I don't. I don't need to. I, I can do everything I want to do um, and I don't do any weight lifting because I just do Cellar size weight bearing. Okay. All righty. We invited our Instagram friends to join us. Oh, good. We actually did get a question from over there, so I thought oh, we'd wow. address it. All right. Does jumping help correct spinal issues? I have plates out of line that are pinching a nerve, which causes my hands to go numb sometimes. I'm seeing the chiro chiropractor, but I was curious if jumping would help this. There's a movement that I demonstrated just recently where you lie down on the cellar sizer. When you lie down on the cellar sizer, put your feet up on a chair and a little pillow behind your head, and then somebody stands over you and they, they gently move you up and down. It takes all the vertical pressure off of your spine and off of your, your discs. When you're laying down horizontally, the gentle movement up and down, your feet are up on a chair, little pillow behind your head, and your knees are slightly bent. Um, it's demonstrated in our DVD, Cellar Size, The Ultimate Exercise. And the gentle movement has been absolutely phenomenal for helping to release the stress and tension in the vertebral joints, opening up the vertebral joints. We do a gentle movement side to side. So again, we don't have pressure on the nerves. The muscles can start to relax. The hips gently roll. It's a massage that's working through the entire body. And as we've done this for a few moments, or a couple of minutes and we can do the movement up and down again. Our objective is to open up the vertebral joints and loosen up the tension, increase the circulation, reduce the inflammation. And all that has been beneficial through that movement on the cellar sizer. And again, we've got incredible stories about that, but that's just one. There are other movements on the cellar size, the ultimate exercise DVD that addresses other things that we can do with the back, opening up the vertebral joints and working the upper cervical as well as the, the lower back. So those have been featured in some of our previous sessions and they should be um, on, on, our, on our DVD. Okay, perfect. Good. All righty. <clears throat> Thank you. Which exercise would you recommend to help with shoulder bursitis from years of playing volleyball? That's I'm surprised my sister's not asking this question. <laughs> yeah. There, again, there are shoulder movements that I address. Shoulder problems, hip problems, knee problems, and back problems are generally caused from either weaknesses or injury in the supporting muscles and ligaments of the joint. We need to address the supporting muscles and ligaments, and as we do that and we increase circulation, we can promote a healing process. So there are movements, for example, um, putting your elbows in front and gently moving up and down. If you have a, a shoulder that's causing too much problems, you might have to support it with the other arm, but you just lift them up over your head and gently bounce for a few moments. 
you'll feel these muscles doing this incredible, they're weightless, weight, weightless, weight. So they're increasing in flexibility and circulation, they're being massaged at the cellular level. And then out to the side, so you have this, this round movement, up and down, out to the side. Now, in addition to that, we've got the movements where you can hook your arm under, and we've shown this in some of the other video that we've done here with Christine, um, and then cross, and you're hooking underneath the elbow, kind of pulling a little bit to get some stretch. Don't overstretch, you don't need to, but this helps to open up the shoulder as well. Um, you can do movements like this, which help to open up the shoulders. You can over your head, up and down, there's, there's more that we'll be sharing with you that um, will be coming up in a, in a new DVD, which we should have available in about a month. Okay. All righty. Hi, Vitor. We saw that you came online, Vitor. and we're excited <laughs> that you're here. They were yeah. wondering, in the online store, is there only um, the new model available, or it, it's always been the same model, right? Oh, because he's talking about balance bar? I, I don't know, Vitor, if it was the balance bar or what exactly it is. If we buy one, how will we know? Yeah, we've got our old balance bar back here. Um, so Ted. if you don't mind piping in, Vitor, and helping us figure out if, yeah, if we, it's the bar that you're concerned about or... Yeah, we have, we've got the, the, the trifold cellar sizer, the half-fold cellar sizer, um, We've got the new balance bar that's going out with the trifold cellar sizers, um, and you can order it separately. Uh, we've got the half fold cellar sizers with the standard balance bar, um, but the units are, uh, Vitor might be talking about the, the green carrying case. We do have a few of those left. Um, I've got mine, mine is a green carrying case, and most people are, are getting, the black one is what we're advertising now. So. Okay, and I haven't seen him ask that question, so we'll kind of watch for that to come through, and then we can sure. answer that as we find that out. Uh, do you need and to do anything to protect the vinyl cover when oiling the cellar sizer? Nope. Okay, that's pretty simple. And then if I'll repost the video in case anybody needs to Good. watch. And it's on our oil, website too. Yeah, how yeah. to oil that. Yeah. Uh, does your body eventually? Okay, we answered that one, but there was one that came in. Melinda, she had a deep tissue massage. My back's a little sore. Would you bounce after or give it a day or two? Uh, the movement, it's what you do on it more than anything else. Standing on it and just gently moving up and down. Within a few minutes of millions of one-way valves in the lymphatic system sucking, within a few minutes that suction starts to pull that circulation through all that tissue that might be more swollen. It helps to reduce the inflammation and increase circulation to promote the healing process. If after doing that you feel comfortable, then just dropping your hips a little bit left and right, your shoulders. Um, it kind of simulates what you see a dog or a cat when they get on the floor and they turn upside down and they just kind of wiggle. It's for their back too. And it helps loosen everything up. So movements like that, gentle twisting eventually. Um, again, most of that's all in the, the DVD. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Good. So Debbie had the flu, just got diagnosed with pneumonia. She's wondering if bouncing would help clear her lungs. I can't make a medical recommendation on something like that because um, I'm not a doctor, but I can say consult with a doctor. I have your doctor give me a call, but this is what I would do. And the gentle movement up and down um, is going to increase circulation. If, depending on how far along you are in the, listen to your doctor, but I know if I've had, and I've had pneumonia since I was a preemie baby because I was taken out when it was very cold at Disneyland and in a crib or a little stroller. And, yeah, so I, and I, I, my lungs were my weakest area, one of the weakest areas of my body. They're not anymore. In fact, the doctors have looked at my lungs and they said, wow, your lungs are long. I'm like, really? So my, I've got long lungs. And the, it, it's all from the solar size. It has to be from the solar sizing. But um, gentle movements, like <laughs> you'll die when you first start to do that. So don't do more than one or two or three just to, to, to treat the area a little bit, get a little oxygen in it. And even that may be too much. Um, 
for me, if I felt like I was coming down, I'm a little crazier in it. I would get on it and I would do something intense, like run fast for one minute. And, um, you know, and I can't recommend that, uh, but I know what I've done. And, and, you know, just one, two, three, four, five, six. I run and then I go to bed. <laughs> You'll be breathing hard and I'll do, do my gentle movement. I'm down. Then I go to bed. And that increases the number of active white blood cells in your body by 10 to 15 times. And they stay there for up to an hour. And that helps to go after the virus and germs. But drinking lots of fluids, listening to your doctor, and uh, um, because that's nothing to fool around with. And pneumonia can be really serious. And gentle movements up and down are probably the best. Just gentle. Okay. Thank you. All right. So I am sure many of you that are following us in the group area. Um, and for those of you who are new, you can join us in Cellar Sizer. It's a group that um, when you ask to join, we'll, we'll put you in there. But Angeline bought a Cellar Sizer for her 97-year-old grandmother. Oh, good. Good, it good. actually made it for her birthday, and she has posted the sweetest video footage of her and her standing on it. In fact, I have one here yeah. that I want to show you. But her concern yeah. was, is this where the bar should be? Okay, so I'm gonna kind of bring this up really quick so you can maybe see how sweet that is. Okay, so, she's darling. So she's mo it, mom's I've got my 91 year old, my 94, 90 my 95, and now she's 97. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so okay. she's she's on it and um, she's she's not very tall, and so she's hoping that the height of this bar is sufficient. And Minnesota replied and said that it was, otherwise she would have to bend over and that would hurt her back. So Minnesota, thank you, but we're gonna reiterate it for Angelina. Good, thank you, thank you Minnesota, that's good advice. The other thing I wanna add is when it's up a little higher, you don't lean forward, which means you're gonna feel more balanced because you're gonna be upright more because you're holding it up here. Holding it up here is more like a baby standing up in a crib, nothing wrong with that. They hold here too and then they start to gently bounce up and down you'll have more security by having it a little bit higher and closer to you than, than if you were feeling a, it a little further away. And I want to come back to the pneumonia thing because it's on my mind and I, I'm listening to my, my thoughts. Um, it, it, I can't recommend doing the, the fast running or the deep breathing when you have pneumonia only because it is a medical condition, and I don't want someone doing something that, um, that makes them feel worse. I know what I would do, but what I would do is not necessarily what someone else would do, or maybe is not even best. Pneumonia, again, is not something to fool around with. And depending on where it's located and what kind you have, it, it, there's, there's too many factors in, involved in that. I do believe in the, the health balance. That's what this is. The health balance is nice. Just gently moving up and down so that you're helping reduce inflammation, increase circulation, and then drink your fluids and, and go lay down, go to bed. The circulation is going to work better and allow that healing process to take, to take effect. When you're stronger and as you're getting stronger, yes, then you can challenge yourself a little bit more. All right, okay. Elizabeth has asked, do you think that doing the health bounce and lightly massaging your TMJ will help relieve the tightness and pain? Yeah, H yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, in fact, if you're working underneath the, your atlas here and in this area and gently tilting and gently tilting um, while you're gently massaging and then work your way up to the jaw, and, and work those areas with little circular movement, that's, um, there's little pressure points and you'll feel them if you're sensitive. You can push those pressure points, the releases, and they can release the stress and tension in your, in your jaw. So that's Okay, that's and then movements. she had also mentioned that she's on her sixth week and this was, so she's probably about on her eighth week now. But this one I had seen kind of a few other people had mentioned a little bit about it and I thought, it may be a sensitive issue to some people, but it shouldn't be. I've been wanting to know if it's common for it to change your bowel movements. And we talk about oh, yeah. digestion and elimination. Oh, yeah. 
without being graphic, the color has changed and they don't settle in the toilet like they used to. Is should she be concerned? Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what. Not uh, from cellar sizing. Cellar sizing it, itself, the, the movement up and down, can help improve bowel movements. It also helps the twisting movement can help break up the mucous membrane lining that can get a little too thick in the intestines and prevent us from being able to absorb nutrients efficiently. So the gentle twisting motion can help break things up, stimulate and improve digestive um, processes. So that sounds like it's, it's definitely having an effect. Okay, perfect. All right, so I saw the torus come through here, but I can't seem to see all of it here. So we'll discuss this right after Vittoria and I will post you a quick answer right after if, if that's all right. Because I want to make sure we answer him correctly on that and then okay. everybody will see the answer with that. But that's all the questions that we all have. Right. So let's talk about knees just a little bit. Okay, we're going to go over. I'm going to share with you a um, couple stories. We have a gentleman who I met a number of years ago who was a professional football player and his knees were not in very good condition at all. Um, he would try to go out and do some exercising and the knees would swell up and he'd have the ice packs and trying to get the swelling to go down. He wasn't able to exercise like he used to at all. And so he ended up sitting on the couch a lot and gained a lot of weight. And when I met him, he was not in the best of shape or condition. So I shared with him what I'm going to share with you, some of the different movements. And within a year, he was back to his collegiate weight. His knees were back in shape. He was doing things I don't think he ever thought he'd be able to do again. We've worked with a number of people with knee issues, and some of them you can, again, read about on our, our website. But knees are important. And people ask me, well, if, what about somebody who's 300 or more pounds? Can they sell or size? And I say, well, yeah, they're not going to be doing much. Um, at 300 pounds, our objective is to increase circulation improve digestion elimination processes, and then strengthen the supporting muscles and ligaments around the knee so that they can utilize their bigger muscles, the thighs and the buttocks, to lose weight. Well, it's this pretty much the same with everybody. We start off with the baby bounce or the health bounce. And then after we've been doing this for a few moments, we bend at the knees, keeping our back straight and our feet flat. We walk in place. As we're walking in place, we're applying that weight on the thighs, but the whole, f all the muscles in the front part of the knee that support the knee. We're building those muscles up and you'll feel it. But as those muscles get stronger, they support the knee better and we're able to be a little more aggressive. And so it's a graduated process. For the lateral knee, both sides of the knee, and very few exercises do this. We can start off rocking side to side, dropping the hips into the mat, it helps to loosen the lower lumbar. You're working the hip area, the thighs and the knees, both sides of the knees are working more effectively. And then from this point, we start to bounce side to side. And as I'm bouncing side to side, I'm working the hips, thighs, both sides of the knees. As the overall knees become stronger, and those muscles and ligaments that support the joint become stronger, the joints are able to retain more fluid. As they increase and retain more fluid, very often the knee conditions just slowly fade away. And people that have had torn meniscuses, like yours truly, um, I've avoided all surgeries to my knees when the doctors told me I had to have surgery because I'd done I tore my meniscus just a few years ago, horizontally and laterally, in more than one place. And I did the same thing I'm showing you, I did. I wrapped the knee, I had a wrap, and I started working on building them back up. Totally fine. And it's still, I can still stick my leg out, sit all the way down to the ground, stand up again. And that's, that's uh, just a byproduct of what solar size has been able to do for me. So those are some good movements with the knees. One more I wanted to share with you that I tried to share previously. It didn't work well because I didn't have something to really hold on to. But if, if we could move that camera just a little bit this way. 
Pretend this is the arm of a couch or a table or something that you can hold right about at this position or even a little lower. If, if you're holding on to this, and this, this is what <laughs> made a huge difference in my recovery for, for my knees and reaching their greater strength potential. And that was to stand on the solar side. It's excellent for basketball players, volleyball players, uh, tennis players, people that need to really have strength in their, in their knees. Is to stand here. You, I bend down, I jump up, come down. Jump up, come down. I'm getting a full range of motion in the knees. If it's a little bit lower, I can actually jump a little bit higher. That routine I designed for me about um, two and a half years ago. <laughs> and the moment that I discovered it and started to do it, being able to, and <laughs> this may not make a lot of sense to those of you who don't have any knee problems, but it, when I would go to the store and I looked at the bottom shelf, I had to, because this knee was so bad, I had to look down and, and have this, I don't know if you can see this I or not, but, can, yeah. okay, I had to have that knee kind of out like that so I could look down, and now just pff, no problem at all, it's just, they're in great shape, and I'm really grateful for it. Okay, so Jill wants you to divulge how old you are. She says you look great, but she's dying to know. And you've told people oh, before, so I know it's not. Who is it, Jill? Jill, yeah. Oh, Jill. Yeah, I hear you're in great shape. Yeah, I'm Jill. Um, I am 62. I'll be 63 in October, and I haven't slowed, <laughs> slowed up at all. I'm out there. When I have a chance, I, I, I play around like I always have, and I haven't, haven't slowed down. So... You know, the quality of life that we can have when our cells are stronger and healthier and more efficient. Um, as far as aging is concerned, I, I, and I learned a lot of this through my customers. Uh, we have people that have been doing it 20 years and they're started in their 70s and they're in their 90s now and they haven't had any of the medications their peers have. Most of them have passed on, but they tell me that they're still enjoying a quality of life that they never expected. That's where I want to be. Okay, so we've had some people ask about your abs, and oh, um, <laughs> they're still there. <laughs> they're still there. What is what? What is the next exercise? If they're to that point okay. in their exercising, what can they do to help develop their abs? All right, to help develop the stomach muscles, you just if you tilt backwards slightly, it leverages the weight right here in the in the abs. As you hold that position and you jog, every time I'm going to take my shoes off because feels better. As you're jogging at an angle, you're leveraging the weight right here in the stomach. If you take your 15, 20 pound head and tilt it, you're now working underneath the chin and strengthening the neck as well. Because you're at an angle and your body is tense as an isometric the whole time. But as you come down, it's weight bearing. That's an isotonic for building. And it's not just here. It's on the entire body. That's what makes it so effective. So this is one. Now, if you want to leverage more weight, kick your feet out in front of you. Every time I come down, that's a lot more weight than just doing a sit-up. You're putting weight on the whole front part of the body. For the waist and the hips, it's the same thing. Help to uh, strengthen or get rid of those love handles. I don't know anybody who loves them anyway, but that's, that's much more intense than just doing something like this. You're coming down with all that weight. And again, the lower back and the buttocks, same thing. But yeah, it's, uh, I've got no complaints. <laughs> it's been great. Oh, I love your uh, comments. You make my whole day. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. Thanks, Christy. Okay, uh, so for my routine, do you want me to just keep going how I am since I'm seeming to do, I mean, I'm doing quite a bit of the techniques and we've even introduced the good. jamba runs, so. Okay, and that's good. The jamba runs good, the twisting you're still mm -hmm. doing. Yes. You're doing some of the breathing. Yeah, so but, I do the breathing, I do, great. well, the health bounce, I okay. do the twist. Good. I do 
the walk, okay. and then I get myself into the run. I okay. do the high leg. Oh, jog, good, 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 good. And it's another one good for your stomach. Right. right, and then you had me start doing the oh, muscles yes. in my arms. Good. So the only one I'd add to that, if you want, and now that your knees are feeling better. Yes. Okay, so we can work the lateral knee a little bit more. Okay. And that's just by jumping gently side to side, just like that. That's like a skier's move, kind of like. That's what it? we call it, the ski okay. patrol. Okay. Yep, we call it. This is a ski patrol, and you can get more advanced, but you don't need to right now. So, so as okay. you. You just cross over. It's a little coordination, but you'll get it. And it's just back and forth like this, side to side. You're working the hips, the thighs, okay. both sides of your knee, your ankle, your feet. It's phenomenal. Okay. Everything becomes more flexible. Okay. Good. So I think that's everything we've got for this week. Is there anything else you wanted to add? Just keep up the good work. Perfect. <laughs> All righty. Thanks, Christine. Okay, everybody. Thank we're you. so glad you were with us today. and. We'll see you next week. Looking forward to it. Okay. Thanks for seeing.